Hello and welcome to the highlights of the first match of the HBL PSL Season 8. The venue is Multan and it's the defending champions from Season 7, Lahore Kalandas versus the hosts of the opener, Multan Sultans. At the toss, it was Mohammad Rizwan, the captain of Multan Sultans, who called it right and he decided they'll bowl first. A quick look at the sides, the first game, Lahore Kalandas coming out with a new name, Tahir Beg from their player development program. Sikandar Raza joins Lahore Kalanda, so does Liam Dawson, their ever-dependent David Visa. And Shaheen Afridi leading the side along with his fast bowling pair Haris Rauf and the emerging Zaman Khan. A quick look at a very balanced Multan Sultans being led by Mohammad Rizwan. He's got his opening partner Shan Masood, Usman Khan a promising youngster, and then Karen Pollard and David Miller the hard hitters. And good bowling options in Shanawaz Dani, Samin Gol, Esan Ullain, Osama Mir, and Akilo Sen. So let's join the action with our commentators as Fakhar Zaman and Tahir Beg for Lahore Kalandas come out to bat. So proud of the Multan crowd. They've come in numbers. It's been a uh, slight delay, but we are set to go now. Akil Hussain with the first ball. Getting on and underway straight away. Little dink into the offside. Room again, and that is down towards us. Wakar Yunus, it'll be one bounce and four. Lovely, very nice to see a youngster taking on the experience of Hill. Just away from Kyron Pollard at mid-on. Chase for him, which he will lose. Ball wins. Oh, he swung it away and got a huge top edge. That has gone a long way. The six of the tournament, a little bit of luck, but he'll take it. There's a bit more than a luck. Yeah, looking to just pick up the early line, but it swung back towards him. Taking a top edge and going a long way. It's going to be a boundary. Once you fall on the legs and it's easily put away. It's uh, almost a gift to beg. He's picked that up. He's a fielder there, but he'll uh, not get to it. Well, that's nice. He's waited on that and he's just opened the face. That's very deliberate. That's high in the air. That will be clear of any fielder out there. Another boundary. That's a good way to end the power play. That's a strong one for Kalandas. 50 for no loss after six. Top edge. The pace will take it away all the way for a maximum. Another big shot to end. Another over. 61 for none. Catch it is the call, and that's the first wicket of HBL PSL Season 8. Akil Sen strikes, Osama Mir takes the catch, and that's the end of Tahir Beg. It's a really good catch, a really good catch. But he hit it well enough, it went flat. And that's a really good catch, we've seen those go down. Bay goes for 32 from 26. Molten Sultans have their first. Lahore 61 for one. Nice shot. Finds the gap. There we go. That is a flat. It's hit hard and he's found the gap. He just beats that short mid wicket. Flies over him. There, that horizontal bat again, he just slaps that, and wow, he's found the gap. Perfectly bisecting the two boundary riders. Beautiful shot. Strong and straight. And a four. And that will bring up another 50 for Fakir Zaman. It'll just be the single, it's his 17th 50. And his seventh against Multan in the four, in his 14 innings. Wow. Has he got enough for this? He has. Maximum. 
He's enjoyed it as well. Yeah, that, that's really a picture for any young boy or girl out there who's thinking, how am I going to hit the ball out of the park, get rid of that left leg? Open that le left leg up. Big, big enough, just. Only just. 50 partnership up. Flatter, this one. Paul just gets it over once again. Bottom of the back. Another six for Fakazaman. And he goes to 2000 HBL PSL runs. Only the second batter after Baba Razam. Don't think he gets all of this. And the man underneath it does not drop them. Kyron Pollard got himself in position early. Takes a simple catch, and it's the end of Shea Hope. Again, bowled into the surface hard. It's just stuck there a little bit. Shea Hope looking to go over long on. Just gets it toe in, and those big mitts are wrapped around it. Shea Hope, he's gone for 19. It is 119 for two. That's the way. Look at that stump, smashed. The horn is going. That's a goodie, that. Never looked likely did Kamran Gulam. Great response. Lovely wrist, and it's just ripped through Kamran Gulam before he knew what was going on. He's on his way back. It's 1-2-5 for three. Gone. It's a double strike for the home team. You just felt as though Kalanders had hit a brick wall. Not only have they hit it, it's caused some severe damage. Big shot from Fakka trying to break the shackles. His favoured leg side, and all he does is dump it into the hands. Back as the man goes to 66 from 42, it's 1 2 5 for 4. Little cutter. Oh, Can there's a mix up. Huge mix up. Must be out. Not out. Would you believe it? I mean, he just can't believe that he missed. Oh, that's gone way, way up into the night sky and way, way back and out of the ground into this huge crowd here it's been 19 balls since the last boundary but it's been well worth waiting for if you're a Kalanders fan oh he has stung that and that is a a bowler killer Hani was uh, lucky to get out of the way of that and his follow through he hit that immensely hard great way to finish the 17th one four three for four Full toss and it's punished, put away. Man, a backward point. Nani, I think, fast bowler finds himself a backward point and uh, made rather a poor effort at trying to stop that. That's the 150 up for the Kalanders. And that has been nailed, absolutely nailed over mid off. What a wonderful strike. Got him. It was full, and again, uh, Talat might feel as he, he's a little unlucky to have picked out the man there at backward point. This time he was just looking to guide the ball rather than hitting the ball. Just sort of uh, wanted to go a little bit right or left of that fielder. Went straight at him. San Talat, well made 20, he's gone now, it's 164 for five. Oh, and it's gone for four. The long levers of uh, David Visa have found the boundary. One more delivery to go. He's got two men on the offside, which is third man, whitish third man, and, 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 and kind of extra cover. Or mid off. That's Visa out. gets that... across in front, and that is out. It's a terrific way to finish. Dahani gets the chance to uh, celebrate finally. 
And uh, Lahore Calanders will finish five short of 180. Simon Dahl reckoned 178, 180, 185 was par on this surface. And after the start that uh, Calanders got by Andy Flower with uh, that inscrutable look on his out. face. Pitching out and off, impact umpire call. Umpire's call. Marty Saggers gets Martin, it right. Barney got it right in that final over. I let you know when you're making and that uh, we can get on with the contest. 175 for six from 20, Lahore Kalanders, and innings that went in fits and starts. So at the end of 20 overs, after Lahore Kalanders was asked to bat first, they managed to post 175 for six in their 20 allotted overs, with a great 66 from Fakhar Zaman and Tahir Beg's first outing got him 32. In the end, Sikandar Raza not out 19 and a partnership along with Hussain Talat 20 helped them to get to 175 for six. Quick look at the Multan Sultan bowling. Two for 37 for Esanullah and two for 25 for Osama Mir. Top wicket takers, a wicket each for Akil Hussain and Shanawaz Dani. They were going for runs, but they also managed to pull in some good overs. 176 to win at 8.8 .8 runs and over. Let's join the action as Mohammad Rizwan and Shan Masood come out to bat. So here we go. Yes. Movement straight away. Just works that away. He's so strong on the onside. You gotta keep it outside off stump when you're bowling to Rizwan. And he has no problems whatsoever, just closing the face and playing with the pace. That's timing. That's such a super shot. Nothing fussy about it. Pulled away. Will be a, a single. Should have been a single. Terrible fielding. Not good with the bat. No good in the field. 17 without loss. It beats the fielder at backward point. Boundary straight away to start the over. That's a good shot. He makes it look so easy. Just moving away and creating that room. <laughs> Tried to follow him, didn't he? Picks it up. That is his go to zone. Rizwan. He's got so many runs in that area. Yeah, it's clever, isn't it? Because. Sekanda Raza is trying to get a little bit of space. Another good shot. Once he gets it past, this is going to run away. So a good over for Multan. Three boundaries in it, five overs gone. They're 45 without loss. That swung away. That will go all the way down to the boundary for four. 50 comes up. Power play done. Ball is for two, it's in the gap. Double it, double it, please. That's gone for four. More runs here, that's well done. He surely stopped an extra, but they still managed to squeeze in two. My word, that's some real good running between the wickets. 50 as well for Rizwan, 50 from 35 deliveries, seven boundaries. Such a good innings from the captain. And that's 100 up for Multan Sultan's 100 partnership also between the two. It's the fourth 100 partnership between the two. Rizwan and, of course, Shan and Masood. Great start to the season for them. Oh, is that the first one? That's the opening they wanted, and the change has worked. Hussein Talat comes in, he's tried to play him, just beating, trying to beat that fielder short, fine leg, but he's found him. Simple catch in a way because Shah Massoud picked that short, fine leg out. First wicket, Shah Massoud, he goes to 35, Multan 100 for one.
that's the one they were looking for that boundary that missing boundary you mentioned of 28 deliveries to get the first going oh what a shot that's a clean hit Rizwan maximum that's a shot of authority huge massive why his eyes are it's not really a short delivery but he's in that position quick pulling off the front foot not big boundaries here at Multan but this goes a long way makes a room this time over Kawai's get the tick outside it that's two boundaries back to back 10 of the last two it's 127 for one after 15. Got him! Swing and a miss, gets the Yorker right. Is there a twist in the tail yet? The skipper has picked up the opposition's captain. Nice and full, a cutter. I think uh, Rizwan was expecting a little bit of pace on it. Just the perfect length. Excellent innings of 75 of 50 comes to an end. It's 131 for two. It's the Yorker right again. The pinch one should be gone. Oh, direct hit would have had him, I'm sure. I'm sure a direct hit. Tahir Beg, who hasn't had the best day in the field. Shaheen. Oh, bit of good fortune. He got the Yorker in and Miller got a little inside tickle on it past the keeper. Yeah, they do need a little bit of luck, Multan Sultan. Ball oh, cleans him up. Yorker specialists. Harris Ralph is one of the best in the business, and he's just cleaned up David Miller. Coming round the wicket, balling the Yorker length. It's good that the Miller's just lifted his right foot. Would have really taken the toe with it. Brilliant. Miller going in his uh, in his face. 20 delivery for 25. 147 for three. Goes short. Punished and punished all the way. Oh, big boy power. 150 up. You get it a little wrong. And Pollard will be all over you. I'll give you the batsman he was bowling to. How about that? How about that? What a try! What a try! Brilliant! Nearly took a blinder. That's gone for four. End of the over. 15 off it. It's 161 for three. And it's been hit straight to mid wicket. Keepers in. Keepers in. It's a chance. Gone! Gone! Brilliant! Brilliant from the deep. Great throw right beside the stumps. KP is walking off. He knows he's gone. And is that the chances of the Calanders walking off with him? He's already gone up the stairs. He's left. He knows. There we go. There we go. That's uh, He saw it. He saw it what happens right in front of his eyes. That's the reason why he left the ground. Out. He's already back in the dressing room. He's taking his pads off. What a throw. 163 for four. Oh, that's very full and out. If he hasn't hit that, that is crashing the top of middle stump. Gone. Gone. Though. They'll come up and have a look at this, but I think this, if he hasn't hit it, is absolutely plumb in front. That will do it. Good decision and upheld upon review. Swing and a miss and Zaman Khan. Zaman Khan goes. Oh, that is beautifully bold. Go for two. Got to go back for two. Get him on strike again. Another one. Another one. Gone. Gone. It'll be one run and a wicket. It's not a bad result. What I really like about uh, Lahore Kalanda 
is they're very calm in the field. They're not really rushing. Normally, in this sort of situation, you get panic, you start throwing all over the place. But no, twice we have seen in this over a perfect throw. The Samami gone for duck. It's one six six for six. Ten required. Two to go. Kush Dilchar. Can he find a boundary? He can find a boundary. He can find a four. Down to six required now. Oh, what an opening. What an opening game to the HBL PSL. Haven't been beaten. Three games at this ground for the Multan Sultans. They have not been beaten. Can Kush Dilchar keep that record intact? Can Zaman Khan finish it for the Kalandas? Here we go. Oh, it was there, but it's been swung away, and it's an outside edge. It'll race away for four, but it does not matter. The Kalandas have started HBL PSL 8 with a win, a victory over the previously unbeaten Multan Sultans at their home ground. What a cracking encounter, Wakar Yunus, to start the tournament off. You can't ask for more. This was wonderful. They did not lose hope, Lahore Kalandas. Bouncing back with the ball, Zaman Khan. Look, it was in the slot. It was a length ball, Wakar. It was there. He just lost his shape a touch, Kristil. Yeah, he wanted to hit it out of the stadium rather than just clearing that 70 yards. What a wonderful game we had. What a spectacular end to the first match or the opening game of the HBL PSL Season 8. Eventually, Multan Sultan and Lahore Kalandas, only one run separated them and Lahore Kalandas scored their first two points. The start was amazing. In reply, Multan Sultans were looking rock solid till the end of the 10th over with the opening partnership of Shan Masood and Mohamed Rizwan. But then in came some wickets and the pressure built on. Miller and Pollard had a good partnership going on eventually fell short by one run and managed 174 for six in their 20 overs. The bowlers kept their calm. Initially, Shaheen Shah, Rauf and Zaman were going for runs, but in came some medium paces and spinners and they started getting those wickets going. A wicket each for Shaheen Shah, Afridi, Haris Rauf, Zaman and Hussein Talat helped them to back this game and get those valuable two points. A quick look at the match summary, Lahore Kalandas were asked to bat first, scored 175 for 6 with a man of the match, Fakhar Zaman 66 of 42 and in reply to that, Multan Sultan scored 174 with Rizwan 75. So, Lahore Kalanda winning the first match of the HBL PSL Season 8 by one run and scoring their first two points on the points table. Hope you've enjoyed the highlights of match one of the HBL PSL. Until next time, it's goodbye.